Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to add and subtract mixed numbers with different denominators. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, subtract 4 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 7 eighths. Well, let's go write this vertically here. We have a 4 and 3 fourths minus a 2 and 7 eighths. Eighths. Well, we know we're going to be adding or subtracting here these fractions, so we need to have a common denominator. So let's go rewrite this 4 and 3 fourths and 2 and 7 eighths here. We're subtracting. Well, from here, to have a common denominator, 8 and 4, well, 4, if I multiply that by 2, I get an 8 in the denominator. So let's go multiply that 4 times 2 and 3 times a 2 as well. The 7 eighths doesn't actually have to change anywhere because we already have that common denominator. So rewriting this out, we have a 4 and 3 times 2 is a 6 over 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2 and 7 eighths. Now, planning ahead here, I know if I'm subtracting the fraction portion of these mixed numbers here, the 6, I would take, well, common denominator, 6 minus the 7, and I get a negative. I can't really do that. So what we're going to do is draw from the 4. So notice here what I'm going to do. Uh, that 4 I'm going to turn into a 3. So remember 4 is equal to like a 3 plus a 1, right? That 1, if we put that as a fraction, is an 8 over an 8. So we're going to do that. We're going to take the 6. We're going to add an 8 to that 6. And that comes out to be a 14. So we have 14 over 8 here, minus 2 and 7 eighths. Well now we can subtract downwards. 3 and 2 is a 1, and then 14 minus a 7, right, just dealing with the numerators, denominator stays the same, 14 minus the 7 is a 7. And that's it. We have a 1 and 7 eighths as our answer, and we take 4 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 7 eighths. Hope you learned something here on how to add and subtract mixed numbers with different denominators. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.